my dialogue that I have with the painting is, is, is spiritual in nature. I, I, I look for the painting to help me release what's going on in me. And it's a back and forth of where it's taking me, you know. But then there comes a time where the painting is speaking to me and this painting is saying to me, this is what I want to be. To finally find that balance where I look and that painting says, I'm here, you created me, this is what I want to be. You know, and then sometimes it just tells me, okay, leave me alone now, go away. And I just have to back up and leave it alone, you know. I left home when I was 14, so I've had a lot of experiences, and all those experiences what brings me up to this moment, you know. Um, so having this platform to say, tell you about me and, and who I am as a person, you know, even for my love for food, you know. Uh, I'm part Corsican, which is it's Italian, but once Bonaparte took it, it just stayed French, and now you would just think it's French. Uh, so like growing up in this eclectic family of Cubans and Italians and so I, there was always different takes on art from their perspective, you know, seeing a black Madonna but then going home and my mother's like, Jesus is over here, stay away from your grandmother with that. It's like, you know, so all, all of that, just in a nutshell, and I've learned to look back on things that I used to look back on as kind of negative. And I look back and I was like, you know, wow, I've had such a rich history and all art related. This creative spirit was just really just bubbling. I was kind of going through my own thing. I was looking for some type of, like a, like a getaway almost, you know? And I just, I just went into the art and it transformed into that whole creative process, finding different kinds of papers and textures. And it just went from there. And so, somehow it was just an innate talent that was this, it was just there and I, just, I, I took it what I had and just, just rolled with it. My hardest point is making that first line, that first attacking of the paper. And once I get that first stroke, it, it kind of incites me to do something else. Abstract was something I always loved. When I was a kid, I just, I was always attracted to abstract painting. Abstract was what spoke to me. And, and, and it seemed like the abstract was, was able to bring out what I felt. So I just kind of stuck with it. it, had a nice flow to it. I think I'm kind of chaotic in nature. I would say controlled chaos. Uh, so abstract really worked well for me. It's where I could really express myself. So what happens, the colors after a while will start to build their own grid. And I just kind of like, just really stay in the grid a little bit. The brush allows for a lot of freedom. And I love it. I just think it has a strong expression. And it gives different viewers to see different things. So you, you, you get different perspectives from different people. The artists in Albany, when we get together, we get together in so many different things. Like you take here, Lockley Frame Shop. I like building alliances. And when I first met Brian, you know, I came to him and said, hey, you know, um, this is what I want to do. And I got, I got a lot of other artists because he was really open. To, to work with me and you know we work, work things and I says you know you frame this at where I can afford it and you'll be my framer for life and that was five years ago you know what I mean so it's, it's been a great we have a great friendship and this is kind of like the meeting place we get I get all the artists to come here and the community is really involved I just finished hosting the Dana Park concert series that was the community thing there's a lot of art out here and we're just trying to keep it going my friend Prince here who's a rapper we promote shows together at empty house studios we're community based I have a nonprofit organization called open source arts project and what that is is to, to create an environment where people can come in they can express themselves they can learn and hopefully find a way to make profit of their art we just ask that you come in you keep the environment safe and you be transparent in what you do and be willing to share. Art is peace. Art doesn't bring any kind of negativity, you know, and so it's, the community is just really cohesive. I've always heard people say, it was like a cliche, art heals. But it came to a point in my life where I needed healing, and when I discovered art, I realized that art does heal. You know, and, and you know, as, a, as an African American, I, I let these kids know that, you know what, I have a person like myself who's had, you know, some problems in his past, that you can succeed if you stick with something long enough. You know, and so I use art as my way to say, hey, you know what, if, if this is what I produce, and, and I'm self-taught, so if you have a desire to make a better step, you can do it, but you have to persevere all the things that's gonna come your way, because being an artist is, is not as easy as people think. My thing is to say to anybody, you can be whatever you want, you just have to stick to it. And I like the fact that when I see how people come in, they're moved by my paintings. You don't have to be, per se, a lover of art, if you're a lover of life and the world and nature and the colors, you'll see it in the art. You know, so that, that's what I aspire to get out of the painting, and that's how I draw from, from life experience. The world is beautiful. As an artist, you have one goal, 
and that's just to cover the paper. And once you cover the paper, it's no longer for you because I want that person to come and let their life experience to look at that painting and go, this is what I see in this painting. I want you to see what's in your heart. And that's how I get life from the paintings and my experiences in life. And, but I want, after I do that to create the painting, now I want you to have that same experience. You look at it and let your life experience tell you what you see. And if I do that, then you know I've done my job as an artist.